uh, well, you, you see, when Julian Assange was invited to Sweden uh, and he went there on the uh, uh, 11th of August 2010, he was invited by someone who was called Miss A. Now, she was a member of a political party. Miss A, sorry, one of the women he's been accused. Yes. And uh, she invited him to give a lecture. Yeah. Which party is that? Sorry. Well, uh, um, Social Democrats? We, we that, that, well, you know, because you've written that, on the that, subject, haven't you? Yes. So you know. That, that, that's, yes. That, that's, a, that, that's information that uh, uh, appeared throughout the hearing. Did you attend any of the hearings? I couldn't attend. I, no, well, I, 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 ad I attended all of the hearings. I've been living in New Zealand. Yeah, well, I attended all of the hearings. At, yeah. I've, read uh, the, I've read the high court. I, well, I was, at the, I was at the Magistrates' yeah. Court, Westminster Magistrates' Court, Belmarsh Magistrates' Court, at yes. the High Court, at the Appeal Court, <coughs> and in the Supreme Court. Yes. I attended all of the hearings, yeah. and I listened to yeah. all of the data that was uh, given. Yes. Well, uh, the, 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 the thing that I feel is wrong in relation to the women is that I believe in equality of justice. And you see, if somebody in a rape case, if a man is a uh, nail, I believe that the uh, woman or women should also be nailed. This is equality of justice. There should be no, the, the man should not just be nailed and the woman uh, not nailed. And I do believe that there is a conspiracy to get Julian Assange to the United States. And the evidence for this is on the um, uh, 5th of December. Is this to do with the grand jury? Yes, it is. It, it, it's, it's the evidence that was uh, when, when Bradley Manning's, uh, when the United States Army were holding a preliminary hearing to decide whether he would be put on trial yes. or, or court martial. Uh, they revealed at the hearing on that day that it was, or the alleged hearing that day, that it was a Julian Assange that passed the gas of the government and the government to reveal their secrets about the American state rules. Yes. And the uh, people said, well, yes. And the other, the, 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 the other thing is that um, the European extradition warrants, warrants are being abused now because uh, people are being extradited for flimsy matters. And it originally was for serious uh, matters that was called terrorism. And those of us who are involved against extradition to the United States, because Nobody should be, because the, the United States yeah. and China and Israel voted against the setting up of the International Criminal Court. And they don't want their citizens extradited to the United States. The United States wants citizens of every other nation to be extradited to the United States. Yes. But they don't want, so their, they don't want, to do they, they don't want their citizens extradited yeah. to answer crimes against humanity in any country. And until the United States signs up to the International Criminal Court, nobody should be extradited to the United States of America for anything. Yes. It doesn't matter how many people they killed or whatever it is, but they shouldn't yeah. be extradited until they... So, uh, your um, opposition to this extradition is in a large part as a general principle as opposition to extradition to the United States in general. In general, and, and, and also yeah. the reform of the European extradition uh, treaty. Yes. And then the other thing that we support is we support the right of free speech of people to this clause because I do not believe any government, whether it's the government here in the United Kingdom or the government in my own country, Ireland, or wherever country it's made, that they should not indulge in clandestine operations. Yes. That, that, that they should be able to make a statement to the press and say what they are doing. Yes. And then that when somebody discloses this, whether it's a journalist or a, uh, somebody like that, that they should have the right to disclose this information, that I believe the public in all countries should have the right to receive this information. Yes. Oh, well, what I'm also curious about is, of course, um, one of the other reasons I'm here is another protest is, of course, planned by um, a, a girl, actually, um, someone I know at yeah. Oxford, has uh, set up. Uh, her argument is that Assange, because he is, her argument, whether 
validity or not, validity. it's not up to me. But she's saying he uh, is, by evading justice in Sweden, is insulting rape survivors and therefore should not be given a platform like the Oxford Union from which to on the 11th of August, 2010. Yeah. And he went to Miss A, as I was telling you initially. Yeah. And Miss A, who was a member of the political party, she invited him to speak. And he spoke at her meeting. Yes. And he stopped in her apartment. And he had sex with her. Yeah. And three days later, or four days later, he went to, uh, to someone who is now being referred to as Miss W. And she invited him to speak, and he spoke at her meeting, yeah. and he also had sex with her. Yes. And uh, this was between the tenth, uh, between the eleventh of August and the twentieth of August. Yep. And then, on the, uh, between the dates, the two women um, spoke to each other. Yes. And then, on the twentieth of August, twenty ten, a warrant was issued for the arrest of Julian Assange. And then it was suspended almost immediately, for whatever reason, I don't know. This is something that the Swedish police should answer. But then it was reconstituted again on the 1st of September. So what happened between the 20th of August and the 1st of September, the Swedish authorities have had to answer for. And if the women are concerned about this, it is the Swedish police and the Swedish authorities that should get on to it. Because the, the arrest warrant then for Julian Assange, the European arrest warrant, was not issued until the 1st of November. So what is happening all this time? It's the, it's the Swedish authorities that they want to come after in relation to these matters. You said, of course, that Miss A was a member of the Swedish Social Democrats. I didn't say that she was a member. I said she was a member of a political party. Okay, I didn't say what political party she belonged to. Okay, okay. Um, but she hasn't been, you see, neither of them have been named, and I do not believe that they should be allowed, uh, they, because they uh, uh, named Julian Assange. Yes. So in all countries, even in this country, in every country, where a woman alleges rape uh, and where it's going to go to court, I believe that the two people should be named. Yes, I understand. So the facts, I mean, I mean, there is discrepancies between the, uh, in relation to Sweden, in relation to the authorities, uh, uh, that's where the women should direct their questions, and not at Julian Assange. Because Julian Assange, uh, uh, as soon as the allegations were made, Julian Assange didn't get on a plane and leave Sweden. He was still there. So it's yeah. the Swedish police. So why are they not in the Well, the, I mean, if, 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 if I was taking the defense of the police station here and alleged rape, yeah. I doubt very uh, on, 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 a, on, we'll say, on the 10th of the month, uh, that, uh, that the allegation was made against me on the 12th or 13th or whatever date the women made it, that the police wanted to speak to me on the 20th. Yes. I doubt very much I would be able to get on a plane and fly to some country <laughs> uh, by the 1st of September. Yes. Um, so, so, so that's where the, um, that's the, the, that's where the discrepancy lies. It's, it's, and it's the Swedish police that have to answer these questions. These are, the, yeah, these are the facts of that, and these are the facts that have been presented. And yes. also, one of the ladies didn't sign this statement. One of the ladies didn't sign this statement. It's only one of Well, well it's, a, it's irrelevant whether they signed it or whether they didn't sign it. You can make a verbal thing without. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which the two women did not go to the police station this week to report rape. Right. They went there to. The, I heard that they went there to like request to be taken to the police station. Exactly. Yeah. Which is not the reporting rape. I'm just asking somebody to take an SDG case. When does that become right? Yeah. I don't see it. Like, it's really important. These are the issues that are screaming. This is what I'll to answer. This is who you believe they should ask before any 
So, oh, I suppose, another question I have, are you against um, the extradition for this case specifically, or the case under the way it's presently construed before the Swedish police have answered the necessary questions, before they've interviewed, come to the Ecuadorian... We want Sweden to come here and question Sweden, him here. In other, in yes. other cases, Sweden have interviewed people by video link, yes. and they've flown over to Europe, so there's precedence for this yeah. in other cases. They refuse to do it in this case. Ask them why they refuse to do this. We want him to have the opportunity to clear his name yes. and take and part fully in the investigation. Sweden. But Swedish prosecution authority Sweden. is hiding, Sweden. is hiding Sweden. between Sweden. behind but this extradition treaty yeah, and refuses to come over and question him in this country. Yes. There have been offers that he um, attends the Swedish embassy and being interviewed there. Yes. This has been declined. The Ecuadorian embassy has invited them to come over to the embassy here and interview him here. They have stayed silent. They do not have the best interest of these ladies at heart. Because he was told he could leave. Yeah, he was told by the court. He's not running away from anything. He is open to this very day to Sweden to interview him here. He was in the court. These are the facts of the case. So I'm wondering, what do you think is the relationship? Because at one point, um, it was suggested that the United States has a, a heavy hand in wanting to extradite him to Sweden. What do you think the relationship is between the United States government and the Swedish government? Ah, <laughs> I, I, can answer, I can answer that one. <laughs> yes, yes. I can answer yes, that one. Yeah, well, the Swedish, the, 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 you see, the Swedish government, uh, say, the Sweden says they're a neutral, that they're a neutral country. They were a neutral country. They were. No, 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 no. Sweden says they're a neutral country. But Sweden produces, after Israel, Sweden produces more arms than any other nation in the world. Now, I come from Ireland, and we claim to be a neutral nation. But we are neutral because we, pr we produce no arms, and we sell no arms to no country in the world. Sweden cannot say the same. Sweden produces a very large amount of arms and sells them to state terrorists all around the world. And the records are, are there. The, the, I mean, the United Nations have a uh, thing. Now, Sweden cannot be trusted in relation to extradition and rendition because Sweden is guilty in 2001 of renditing without any court hearings without any involvement with the Swedish police, of two uh, uh, citizens of Egypt at the behest of the CIA. And the two gentlemen concerned, I'll give you the names in a second, uh, they were put on a plane at Stockholm Airport. And when the plane took off from Stockholm Airport, the Swedish government did not know the destination of the plane. It so happened that it flew to Sweden, or to uh, uh, Egypt. Egypt. Yes. Uh, and the United Nations investigated this matter and seriously censored Sweden for their actions. There you are, there's the thing. That I say don't trust Sweden, and that's why I say you don't trust Sweden. And there's the names of the two gentlemen concerned. Corruption of the law of justice system. Disgrace. The two uh, gentlemen were tortured, and, um, they and the, are now the, both receiving, of these were tortured uh, um, in, 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 in Egypt as a result of Sweden's bowing to the behest Man. of the CIA of the United States of America. So that is one of the major concerns that this group has in relation to uh, extradition of... What were these two men charged with, by the way, or what did the CIA allege to was well, well, they alleged to well, they alleged to They acted what? against the law, yes. against the international law, yes. in that manner. Renditions are illegal. Mm. Rendition is illegal, totally illegal. And, you know, you just got to look at the other cases in Sweden, and the, the leader of the were, Pirate Bay Party, yeah. currently in prison. For three months without trial, three months all without charges, trial. on solitary confinement. Disgrace. Thank you. All those. Anakaka, his, um, you know, known name is. 
And I'm eager, hun eager enough now there to write about 10 stories. You've got a lot Sorry, of info there. Know, right? even, even, on. Even, on the, even on this one alone. Yeah. So, Sorry, what's your name again? Here, yeah. Ever since he's gone on every single day, really? people have been here. Yeah. Rain or shine? Oh, Rain all the details on here. Um, all the pictures of the data visual there. That's our Twitter account. Pardon me. Oh, so yeah. may, I, may I keep it? Yeah. And also, yeah. I would like to say something. She was going to be incriminated about a condom. Yeah. Yeah. That he, uh, they were used, and after they found no DNA in the condom, yeah. but they were going to incriminate Julian yeah. Assange. The, the condom that was submitted as evidence had no DNA no of either DNA Julian of Assange or the women involved. Yeah, but they were going to incriminate So that needs to be investigated. So, uh, how, wait, no, so how was that submitted as evidence? Was it then dismissed? It was, or, it then, or is it just... We've had no feedback no from the Swedish prosecution. This is why you should be directing your questions to. Yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I highly doubt I'm going to get an answer. Well, you know, yeah. you can only really try. Yeah. If you're a reporter, you'll do your best to do that, yeah, I you? will do my best. But yeah. one, um, I, I think one of the women was... Was one of the women named in the House of Commons, I think? The, the, the women are well known in the press, they're the plaster all over the internet, which is, it should not happen. Yeah. It should not happen. You know, it's a human rights issue here for the women and for Julian. Yeah. I am curious about one thing though. You mentioned that the woman was a member of a political party. I said, is that, that, I said that she was a member of a political party. I said that. I'm, I guess I'm wondering how crucial is that fact, and do you think she could have well, been involved uh, well, with the Swedish? Well, uh, how do we know? Anyone, anyone what do we do know? Excuse anyone that's involved with political parties have political agendas. It's yes, it certainly has a political agenda. But the question is, the prosecution of uh, the prosecution service of Sweden has um, pursued this case, breaking their own laws. Yeah. right, left and centre, without investigating any aspects of the irregularities of the case. Like, for example, why the witness statements were leaked by the police and, and Julian Assange's name leaked onto tabloid press overnight. Well, yes, expressing. Expressing. She. Well, we don't know who did, but the police did, obviously. They leaked it. But you know, all this is common knowledge. You can search it and you look at it. It's common knowledge. I mean, this is. I mean, the. Uh, disgrace that these women are protesting. Oh, yes, there's a lot of free speech. They're planning to protest here as well. They should, they, should us, they should join us. They should join us and ask the Swedish Prosecution Service to come down tomorrow and interview. This is what we want. No, 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 no. Yeah. We want him to have the chance to clear his name and, of course, for the ladies to put closure, to put the whole thing behind them. They have been railroaded by the process as well. Any decent human being would want that. Yeah? You understand that? Ask yourself this question. What's been the most, what's been the defined, one of the defining images of the Iraq war? him in relation yeah. to the American state, right? And it breaks him an enemy. And okay. what does, what's, you've only got to listen to things, things like democracy now, with people like Jeremy Scarhead, mm -hmm. is it? <laughs> Yemeni journalist, right, who's exposed what the Americans were up to in um, Yemen. And Obama, he'd been in prison for five years. Yeah. Yeah. This is a guy who's just doing investigative journalism. In, in Yemen. Yeah, in Yemen. And he was in prison for five years. He was released because there was a massive um, protest about yeah. what the American war, the covert war was about. Right? And Obama rang up the Yemeni government and got him put back in prison. This is what the American, this is what we're up against. Right? And then you've got, at the same time, you've got people in Sweden, the Swedish law, where if you can. Like SD, uh, demanding that STD cases yeah. right, constitutes rape. There's a massive disconnect. Um, so, I guess to what extent is, is the United States attempting to get revenge on Assange, punish him for wrongdoing, and to what extent is it preventative to try and stop the WikiLeaks from releasing We don't know. If we, had a, if, we had a, if we could see what was going on in the, so either the American embassy or the state well, rooms, we'd be able to tell you. But yeah. what so we don't know. It's just well, pure speculation. See, yeah, but if you forget, if you forget about Assange, if you, if you take uh, uh, McKinnon or Dwyer, yeah. why did they want to extradite them? And 
in your own country, you say you're from New Zealand. Yes, I am. Well, you are aware of the big case, the big extradition case that's going on in your country, where the United States are trying to extradite. Oh, the... yeah, of course. Of course yes, of course. Well, yes, yeah, well, that, that, well, that's been. Yes, well, even a professor from your country. Where, where is the, the, yeah, a professor from your country. A, a came, law professor. A law professor from your country came here and gave a lecture. Uh, Do you know the name, sorry, because. Um, yeah, I forget his name. I regret it. Sorry, what was your name? Uh, my name anyway, is Nicholas Canberra. Munch. Can Thank Canberra you very much. University. I, I, I studied for Canterbury University. Yes, yes, I yes. probably will know him. Yeah, yeah, but he, he came here and gave a, a lecture about the extradition of the man from, uh, I think he's a German citizen, from your country, the United States. Yes. Now, he's only uh, in, in relation to copyright or something. Yeah. And nevertheless, th there is a major campaign. David Brown, was that? That's it. That is uh, David Brown. Yes, yes. I'm actually going to email yes, him yes, as soon yes, as yes, I get yes. home. And there's a major campaign going on in your country in order to get um, this fellow, I forget what he calls himself. Is it, uh, what does he call himself, this man? Now, is dot it, com, something like that. Uh, something like dot com or something, yes. Okay. Yeah, well, whatever his name is. Now, yes. th there's a major campaign going on in your own country to get him extradited to the United States. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going, I'll and, e and even if, uh, even, if uh, uh, even a law lecturer from your country has come in here and gave a, a, a lecture here in um, uh, the University of London. Kim.com. Uh, Kim.com, that's it. And I attended that lecture because I've been campaigning and this is long before you were born against the tradition. Yeah. Because, you see, the first people in the world to be extradited were the Irish. Uh, and they... European extradition for, uh, treaty and the when, uh, when, when were these first extraditions? The first extradition the they, first the, the, first, the 19 No the first uh, the first extradition of Irish, the first extradition of Irish people by English state terrorists was in fifteen ninety. Yes, after yes. I, I know this. And then if we want to go on to more modern times uh, uh, Napoleon refused to sign the Treaty of Amiens uh, in 1802 until an Irishman who had taken part in the French uh, Revolution, uh, who had been extradited from uh, Hamburg to uh, England, uh, he wouldn't sign the treaty until uh, uh, until he until Napoleon said until he was back safe in the bosom of France. Signed on the 27th of March, yes. 1802. But in, uh, to come to the modern extradition, you see, when the um, British state terrorists uh, divided uh, uh, in 1920, the new state government, we, we, we became the first country in Europe to ban extradition for political offences. Yes. And that's when, when was it banned? 19, the 1920. Between 19, when the when Ireland was partitioned and the free state government was set up, they banned, because of the civil war we had, they banned the extradition of anybody uh, for political offences. And that ban remained in force until the 70s, because when the civil rights movement started in Ireland in 1968, it then developed from the civil rights movement when the British state terrorists shot the uh, civil rights march in Derry and Bloody Sunday. Yes. In 1971. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in 1971. Do you understand now? No, no, I do understand. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, it, it didn't develop into its an armed struggle. And then uh, when the um, British government wanted to extradite IRA people, uh, they couldn't extradite them. So then they forced the Irish government to sign an extradition treaty with the United Kingdom. Actually, uh, and wait a second now, that is the basis for the European Extradition Treaty and for the, the 203 Extradition Treaty with the United States of America. That is the legal basis for it. It's virtually a copycat of the uh, agreement between uh, yeah. the United Kingdom and Ireland. That's an interesting point to that. That's a history, that's a history of the, uh, I'll give you a history of, ex of, of the uh, European Extradition Warrant, uh, the, warrant uh, the European Extradition Treaties that applies throughout the European Union and a special extradition treaty that the United States of America has signed with the United Kingdom. Yeah. And that's the origin. Yeah. 
Um, no. well, of course, another famous person who came, spoke at the union via video link was Jerry Adams in the 1980s. Um, I, I guess one thing, do you have anything to say to Maria specifically? Maria, is, Maria Mean is the president, current president of the union, who, is, who organised the event on her end about the union's kind of commitment. To well, the only thing I have to say to her is that I have been campaigning... Uh, excuse me, sorry, um, who is Maria again? Maria Riamin is the current president of the Oxford Union. Who has invited... Yes, who, who, who has is ...has invited Julian Assange yes, to speak yes. at the Sam Adams yeah, Awards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Oh, um, no, 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 oh, no, pardon me. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll answer, I'll answer, I'll answer, I'll answer. Uh, I've been campaigning against extradition for over 40 years. Yeah. I'll be campaigning against the extradition of my own fellow countrymen, uh, Irish people. I'll be campaigning against the extradition of Palestinians. Yes. I'll be campaigning against the extradition of Kurds. I'll be campaigning against the extradition of uh, okay. Basque uh, freedom fighters. Basically, I'll be campaigning against the extradition of freedom fighters. Yes. Because state terrorists want to extradite freedom fighters. Yes. And I do not believe that freedom fighters, whatever nation they may come from, if yeah. their nation is occupied, they should not be extradited. And I have been campaigning against that, and I have never seen her come to campaign for any uh, freedom uh, fighting uh, yeah. people of any. I've never seen her come for the Palestinians, I haven't seen her come for the Kurds, I haven't seen her come for the Irish, I haven't seen her come for the Basques. So I stand on my record. If she wants to, if she, if she wants to come uh, uh, many months after uh, an event and start talking about uh, some aspect of the issue, then. But she's not the one who's complaining about Julian no, Assange. No, no, she's the no, one no, that no. who has invited, invited him. Well, the, the, the union says I, I used to be a committee member myself. The union's kind of position is that we're, that um, anyone with something in, they believe important to say may speak at the union. Yes, they make yes. no political yes, yes. or moral. Absolutely. Or I mean, we, we just find it shocking that such steps have been taken by a bunch of people with what agenda? It's very not very clear. Oh, sorry, really, from oh, a sorry. political perspective, it's just not clear yes. what what this particular protest is all about. It just seems um, like I have no idea what how to describe it. I mean, you have here people fighting for human rights for decades. Yes. And, uh, you know, you would think Mind that we would encourage people to speak up their own minds and organise. But there is no clear perspective why this... Uh, Simone Webb, I think her name yes, is, Simone and Webb, yeah. uh, also Zoe Stavry, I think, is the organizer of this event. I don't see it anywhere, but you know, I don't see the, the, them. The, there the main yet. one is that outside the Oxford Union itself. Is anyone coming here tonight? You know. I have no idea. Very few people want to make the trip from Oxford no. for it. Like most of them are just going to the union itself. But uh, Zoe Stavry was based in the in Kent. I have uh, looked up her, I, her biography. Not, not, not that I know of. Personally. She's also a, some kind anyone. of journalist, isn't she, Zoe Stavry? Yes, I believe so. Yeah. I, I, I'm because not I've personally. seen her uh, articles in the Independent and the Guardian yes. as well. So I, uh, I'm not well acquainted. Can I ask you something? What, what do you think will happen in your own country in relation to WikiLeaks.com? Will he be extradited to the United States or will he succeed? No. Next, uh, me. <coughs> me personally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I very much hope I'm not going to get extradited from New Zealand. It's quite a nice country, but I, en I enjoy living here. No, no, I'm talking about the man... Uh, uh, oh, Tim.com. Yes, yes. Um, uh, sorry, repeat... Uh, yeah, no, what I'm asking you is, uh, do you think that your country will extradite him to the United States? Or will he win his battle? I, and the view of probably most of the, my countrymen, would be that we hope he, that we very much hope he, he doesn't, and that more New Zealand I think has a qu quite a has a reasonably good record of trying to keep out of these things you know yeah. uh, New Zealand took a principled opposition to the Iraq war we yeah, never so. um, sent uh, anyone there as as we as you know. and therefore I I like to think that New Zealand because I like to think that New Zealand won't extradite him yeah. But I can't be sure. No, no one can be sure. But so far, what do you think? May I ask a question? Because um, why do you think uh, the United States feel that they can go around the world arresting people willy-nilly in violation of international law? Because that's what we perceive is happening. Because they in this think case. they're the shining beacon on the hill. But they are not. They are the darkness. That's what they think. The darkness of this system. Yeah. yeah. But you see. No powerful, all the only powerful is God. 
they are doing too much damage. All around the world, in the smallest countries, they've been uh, interfering with internal politics. They've been supporting dictators. I mean, here we've got Clara from Chile. She can tell you about Pinochet. 17 months, 17 months she campaigned. She campaigned. You campaigned against Pinochet? Against Pinochet. Yes, yes. Yes, we can, we can, we, we campaigned. We were, we were a supporter of the Allende. Okay. I campaigned with them 14 years ago. I campaigned with them 14 years ago. Yeah. And, and in fact, uh, the, the man now that is... Um, well, Jeremy Corbyn was the one that more or less the MP for Islington North. He was the one that um, <coughs> chaired the campaign for uh, uh, the extradition of Finnish And then uh, Balthasar Garçon, uh, who is now Julian Assange's lawyer and who came here, uh, he was, in, in yeah, June, he was the one who that issued was the arrest warrant. The arrest for punishing yeah. uh, all those 14 years ago. So is it, Garçon, yeah. Yes, um, I, I, I know. Yeah. Um, so you see this this particular struggle against the extradition of Assange as kind of another in a long list of battles against extradition and against yeah. dictatorship and yeah. freedom and openness and openness of information. Yeah. It's a political no, issue, I, I, I can, and I we can, believe that this wait, case wait, is politicised. I campaign, I, campaign against, I campaign against extradition all the time because uh, two weeks ago I was in the um, uh, extradition... Uh, uh, extradition tribunal in Rosebury Avenue, where a citizen of Portugal yeah. who had served 27 months in prison, yes. uh, then they were trying to extradite him to Portugal. Despite the fact that his Sorry, prior... no, pardon me, what was his name again? Um, oh, well, I, I'd rather not do it because I mean, this okay. is only just a yeah. minor domestic case. I'm just giving you a, a thing that, uh, yeah. that where, I think it's, uh, where I think that the extradition uh, treaty, the European extradition treaty, has been abused in relation to domestic. Yeah. The, the domestic uh, yes. things, you know, someone who had served 27 months in prison, they didn't try to... Me, darling, I'm trying to park. I was going to... <laughs> thank you, darling, thank you. They tried to extradite him. Uh, you may want to uh, also move. They tried to extradite, they tried to extradite him after himself in the sentence, despite the fact that his parents was here, and he was here since he was four years of age. You see, I mean, he won't answer that, but he won. But nevertheless, he, he was kept in jail since October, and all these things went from one court to another court, you see, so. I guess I'm also um, curious about what your views are of the United Kingdom's role in all this. Would you trust the United Kingdom would be a lot less likely to extradite Assange to the United States? Do you think the unit well, I, I would have more. I would have more trust in the. I, I wouldn't have trust in the government, but I would have trust in the judges because I have been uh, at practically most of the hearings, even even for Abu Hasma. I've been at all the cases. Uh, 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 Shan, uh, uh, Dwyer, uh, and uh, McKinnon. I've yeah. attended most of the cases. Yes. Uh, because I have. I've been involved. I was going to campaign against this just before you were born. And um, I think the judges are more fair than the politicians. I think the politicians would respond to uh, pressure from the United States, just the same as the Swedish politicians responded to the thing. I, I, I think that they might have a better case with the judges. So you don't trust the United Kingdom's politicians? Um, politicians. No, politicians. I've only do, But you have more trust well, in the judges? Well, I have more trust in the judges because, uh, uh, as the laws are, yes, I would have more trust in the judges. Uh, uh, <coughs> Sorry, are you a journalist? No, no. <laughs> are you a supporter? Of? No. He's Wikileaks and Assange? Wikileaks, yes, Assange, no. I am very, very supportive of Wikileaks' work. I are think you part of the um, protest today, or are you just a passerby? A uh, little common, a little common B. Because this is where normally the supporters stand, you see, so I'm surprised. I thought maybe the gentleman over here is the journalist. But, uh, who are you? Um, do you want me to arrive? I'm just a person who decided to come along with yeah. you. Are you an Oxford student? No. Oh, well, you're very welcome. I appreciate it. I mean, I'm, I am very interested in learning what people consider to be the facts. I mean, I, I have no reason to believe something that's written in The Guardian, anything... The, I'm more sorry. Than, the Guardian. Le, no, 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 let me, let me finish. I have no reason to believe something that's written in The Guardian Excuse me, I'm sorry, have you... you tell me. Um, are, is someone, are you part of a protest here? Not particularly, no. So what, what are you doing on this side of the pavement? What, what side of the pavement should I be on, sorry? Well, no, I'm sorry, I'm just surprised, but uh, because... Uh, you might just be going to listen to people, hear what people say. 
yeah. I, I, that's okay, sure. I, absolutely, absolutely. But I'm just wondering if you're a journalist. No, I'm not a journalist. And even if he was going to be incriminated about a condom, you look at that. They were looking mm. into a condom and say, he yeah, has used our, this condom. When they yeah. looked into the condom, they didn't have any DNA from Julian Assange. And there are many little facts about that. One of the girls didn't even uh, sign the statement. Didn't what, even what I, sign I, the what statement. What I would like you to do is I would like you to tell me a place where I can read these things that you are uh, saying. I've with, got a flag for you. I that, that, would, see, that, that, that seems to me like a very biased source. I would like, if there is... Well, you know, the internet is uh, your oyster. You can um, do your research. I, I, was, I, I, have, I have read the, that website and I was unable to find any... Well, I will, I will definitely read this. Yeah. I'm very sure. Would you like to give me one? Please. One. Yeah, thank you, my pleasure. Can you give me? Because I've got that. Thank you. I know this to be true. I'm coming here and saying, you, you, you have all clearly made your decision. I have not made my decision. Okay. You, you are the best people to get a defence of Assange from. But why you do not? you approach us to defend him now, today? Not, are you I'm part not, of the protest? I'm not trying, I'm not approaching to defend him or so, to... I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a journalist. Um, well, what are you doing? Well, what's your name? Curious. I'm Amy Butlin. There is what's your name? Fell. 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 F-E-L-L. -L. I'm just a person who would like to hear your side of things. Today. You're no relation of Father oh. Fell. Hmm? You're no relation of Father Fell. I don't know who that is, I'm afraid. Oh, yeah, who got the IRA face in the trouble I'm afraid the IRA was a little bit before my time. Oh, yeah. Thank <laughs> God. <laughs> so you're not in the IRA, okay. I'm not, no, I'm not IRA <laughs> I'm either. I'm <laughs> Just can, can quite vehemently <laughs> state that I'm, I'm not okay with blowing people up. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I, I find it strange. I mean, I can understand your point of view. You must get or must have got earlier or must be preparing for I don't quite a lot of aggressive attention for you. If you're not part of the protest, what are you doing that does here? Something. Are you part of the protest? <gasps> So, what are you doing here? I would like to know. How did I don't you find out about this so event? Is this, are, you, are you the protest or is there a so different protest? We are, we are no, no, we are supporting the Julian. Okay, so what, what, what this is the protest? vigil. No, 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 no. Uh, there is another protest. We're going to come to no, It's a vigil. But I didn't come. I didn't come. It's a vigil. Yeah. Unless you are. I don't know. You say you don't. But how do you know about this um, event? This is supposed to be. Oh, you're recording as well. Thank yeah. you. Yes, I'm recording as well. What is your name? Juliana. Um, Amy Buckley. Nice Hi, to meet nice you. Meet you. Hi. <laughs> Are you also a friend of uh, Fel? No, yeah, well, you, I've, I've been You're a supporter. Yeah, I'm no, supporter. Done. Are you okay? I'm, I, there, there, is, there is no national newspaper that is. I mean. To, to, That's interesting. To, to All kinds the, of people. The Levis <laughs> inquiry has proved that there, is there are no here? national newspapers that can be trusted yeah. to be completely yeah. neutral. I, at, at no point am I going to claim, oh, I've read this in the newspaper, so clearly this is the facts and you people have, you, you people are incorrect. This is not, that is not no, what I, I am saying. What you were saying, however, he admitted to having said, that the but common thing that went around while she was asleep. It did go around I, after I've, that I've, hearing. I've, and if you, if you read I've the court that, hearing, I've seen his, that his lawyer said, and, these are the allegations. That, that was all. He didn't say this is what happened. He yes. said nothing ever. I, I, un I understand. This has never this has never got to court, obviously. Not yet. So yet, so this has never e even if even if his lawyer said what I said, I said, it would not be admissible in the court because he hadn't. No, I'm not saying that. I know, but what you're saying, people often there were a lot of people confused between saying that he had admitted this would happen, and it wasn't. His own lawyer just read the allegations against him. The legal claim was if this was true, it wouldn't be rape in this country. Now that was thrown out. It was only part of that legal argument. It was saying nothing about what Assange was not saying. This happened. It's why they're not accept this. Is well, I don't have I don't have the sources on me to cite, so I'm going to I'm going to accept your okay. interpretation of things okay. because yeah. you're you're here and I have no reason to disagree. <coughs> I mean, I obviously wasn't there at the time, so I'm going I'm not going to say I'm going to stand here and be part of this vigil because I mean I haven't gone away and read these <coughs> these sources that you've cited to me. I very I'd very much like to be an evidence-based person. But there is yeah, something yeah. in the internet that you can read all the facts. You? Yes, Tema. And also he had been in a court in Sweden. Mm -hmm. And they let him free. They let Julian Assange 
He's not why? a journalist. Uh, and why? But why? he's not and part of the protest When either. he comes back to London, no, not then decided to take him. <laughs> Yeah. He, he was in the from what he's uh, no. saying. Why let? Why they let? Why? I don't. I, I'm, I'm not responsible for that decision. Although I have any evidence. Yeah. that I have, I would say, it is not a situation I have researched exhaustively. I have not read all the citations, and frankly, who better to come to for the less presented side of the argument than you, than this vigil here? The, who, who would be better for me to approach for the side of the argument that would be support in support of Julian Assange than the people who hold the vigil for him? <laughs> I mean, it sounds ludicrous, I'm so sorry. You know, here we're having a... Uh, a meeting of supporters, the vigil, because uh, in support of a gentleman who is for seven months, seven months, I know. in, in the Ecuadorian, and you come charge. here, you yep. say you're not a journalist, and you are not uh, an anti-protester, and you've I just stopped to have you, a chat to us. I don't see why you find this so hard to believe. Well, I because mean, I've been staying again, here the right all the time, to, uh, and uh, it's I mean, I have, with flyers I, I to inform people. But you're I, I you're very you. interested in them, um, you know, engaging conversation. Obviously, is, is that okay? I mean, absolutely. I, I am, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Right. But uh, if you, <laughs> I mean, I'm very, your <laughs> approach is very interesting because you you're getting looking, involved. So no, like you good. really have thought about this. I, I yes. I agree with you. Uh, I basically, well. I do not like to, to, to make opinions on things that I don't have enough evidence about. Fair enough. And it is very difficult to get yes. one reliable and two non-biased evidence about this. Yeah, I've read all about this um, tra train of thought here on the thank internet. You. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And it's nice to, um, you know, see you face to face now. Oh, no, no, no. I live, where do I live right now? Beckham. Yeah. I think it's one of the uh, <laughs> Thank you. I think it's one of the internet shows. <laughs> right, yes, thank you. <laughs> Where are they? Hello. Hi Kathy. 